The first thing we want to understand is, you know, what does it mean to draw an angle in standard position? Well, what you want to do is you want to have your initial ray pointing in the positive x-axis direction. So it's pointing towards the right here. And you can think of this as a spinner. Like imagine if this was like a game and you were spinning the spinner, you know, it's going to rotate either counterclockwise or clockwise. Now the thing to pay attention to when you're drawing an angle in standard position is that if you're going counterclockwise, right, this direction, CCW, that's actually a positive angle. If you're going clockwise, this direction, that's actually going to be a negative angle. So you want to pay attention to that. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to start here, 210 degrees, we're going to rotate, 90 is here, 180 is here, that's a half a turn, plus 30 more is going to put us over here at 210 degrees. Now what I like to do is I like to draw an arrow just to show the direction that I'm heading, and this is your initial ray, this is your terminal, a, terminal ray, and that's the, that's the angle there in between. So let's go through another example. Let's do one in uh, degrees and then we'll do a couple in radians. So negative 400 degrees. So again, we start here facing the positive x axis direction. Negative angle means we're gonna go clockwise. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna rotate 90, 180, 270, 360. Notice I'm spiraling out. And then how many more to get to 400? That's about 40 degrees. And so we're gonna end up right there. And I'm just gonna draw my arrow to show the direction that I went. So that's negative 400. Okay, let's do some radian ones now. So three pi. Again, we start over here in the positive x-axis direction. And remember, pi represents what? 180 degrees. So you wanna memorize that, pi is 180. So three pi, this is positive, so we're gonna be heading counterclockwise. 180, that's one pi. 360, that's two pi, and another 180, that's another pi, that gives us three pi. So that's gonna be our terminal ray where it terminates or ends, and we've drawn our angle. So let's go to one more example, an introductory example, then we're gonna get into some ones that you can practice. Uh, negative seven pi over three. So what you wanna do here is you wanna face that positive x-axis direction. And what I like to do when it's a, a improper fraction like this where the numerator is larger than the denominator is to write it as a mixed number. So what I mean by that is how many times does three go into seven? Well, it goes in two times with one left over. So this is really like two and one thirds pi and you can see it's negative. So that means we're gonna be going clockwise. So let's go ahead and do that. So one pi remember is 180, two pi is another 180, that's 360, and then a third of pi. Now because pi is 180, that's like a half a revolution, we're gonna go a third of the way. That's gonna be about right here, okay? And so there's gonna be where it terminates or end. 